Okay, today I'm doing these little glass cups. And I'm not going to tell you what they are until I get done. I put hot glue, I put little pieces of PVC and then I hot glued them to the bottom of the cups just to keep them in place. I wipe the cups off good with alcohol and I'm using my uh, Art and Glow epoxy resin. That's my go-to stuff now. It's got, it's got a 40 minute work time so I really like it. I mixed up about four ounces and I used a yellow mica and a red and a blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour these over the tops and let them run down. I'm not going to mix my paints ahead of time. I'm just going to pour them in different colors at different stages and see what I can get. And I've got something special for these cups, but I'm going to wait until I get done to kind of show you what they're going to be. So, I'm just going to start out with different colors. Basically, I'm just filling the top up here. Do two blues here. They don't have to all be the same. Do a red on this other one here. Okay. Now Okay, hope I mixed up enough. And my bottoms I'm not really worried about at all because you're not going to see the bottoms when they're finished. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to smear this first coat. just to get it wet and then hopefully all my other stuff will run down All right, so now I'm just going to start pouring This uses a lot of epoxy. I mixed four ounces for this and it may not have been enough. And what I'm hoping when I get this completed is that my uh, when I heat the epoxy up with my torch it'll cause it to run a lot more. And then hopefully level all this out. No, this is quite the mess watching me do it. And this is the first time I've done this, so if that wasn't already blatantly obvious. I'm hoping it works. Because I've got some really a really cool idea for these when I get done. Okay. I'm 
again with your torch you just like any paint anytime you use epoxy oh is this good there it's starting to flow you got to get it it's a fine line on getting it hot enough to flow and then keeping it from burning your epoxy See, I got that one to flow really good there that's perfect and the only thing I haven't figured out for sure what I'm going to do with is how I'm going to manage my tops with like the tops of these like once they're flipped over now yeah, they're just down to three cups now I don't know if I can salvage that one I should have attached these things to my board and to my thing it would have been easier if I had done one at a time too but the the torch is doing perfect it's making that stuff flow down and run mixes my colors up really good okay so that looks really cool even better than what I was hoping to get uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that other one I'll go ahead and try and heat that one back up and see I may be able to melt it enough to salvage it and I definitely should have wore gloves yeah this one may end up being all right need a piece of grass or dirt or something <laughs> It actually looks okay, so I may have salvaged that one okay. So, there we have it. I think this is going to work, so I'm going to let these things set up, probably for 24 hours. And then, uh, the only thing I'm not sure about is how to clean my edges on the bottom. But, I'm hoping maybe I can sand the bottoms off because I know there's going to end up being drips on it. So I'm hoping maybe I can just put it on a piece of flat sandpaper on a board and then just sand the bottoms off and that will be fine for the way that it looks. But uh, anyway, that's really cool. So I'm going to let them set up for 24 hours and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at them and see what we can do with the cleaning the tops off. Okay, I've let these things dry for over 48 hours now. And I took, they came out really cool first. As you can see the colors, I'm really, really happy with them. The one that I dropped ended up with a couple bad spots on it. Had a spot that I just missed right there. And then a spot with some stuff in it right here. So that's okay. I took this one, the first one, and experimented with it on getting the stuff off the top. And it came off really nice. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be sitting up and you're not really going to see the top of it that much. But it came out pretty good. So. I want to show you what I did. Okay, let's pick one of these to do next. Let's do this one right here. I'm going to set these two back. Okay, I took a razor blade first. Any really big ones? I just trimmed them off. And then I took an X-Acto knife would be better, but I couldn't find an X-Acto knife. So, so the, basically what I did, this is a 220 grit, grit sandpaper. I just started running this thing around. Just run this thing around until I got it, until I got the epoxy layer really thin, and then I came back with a razor blade and shaved the end of it off. So I'll fast forward through this till I get it down. Okay. 
So that cleaned that up pretty good. I can come back and polish it up a little bit more off camera, but that gets the majority of it off. I'll come back with some finer grit sandpaper, polish the top of that up just a little bit more. But anyway, so that's a fin finished cup there. Get all the dust off of it. Okay, so there's a finished cup. It's not that bad. It's a little bit more work, but uh, and I may figure out some other methods on getting that stuff off of there. So I'm going to reset up and show you what these things are actually made for now. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, there they are. That's what these were all along. Were candles. I just took the wax out of the cups and then poured the cups and then put the wax, dropped the wax back down in there. They just popped right out. Anyway, I'm really, really happy with these. Better than what I even expected. And the effect I was looking for was this translucent effect where the that you'll be able to see through the glass, through all the color on the glass. These are the candle holders that I built on my other YouTube channel, on my Lichtenberg wood burning channel. I took these and I turned these out of a walnut, a walnut log that I've had forever. It was completely dried. I turned these out. I drilled the holes out in the top and then they're the right size to hold these candles. So these are going to be my candle holders. So I made my pour painting on my candles and then I made my candle holders. So that's what this was all about. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you want to go out and check out my uh, Lichtenberg wood burning channel, please do. I'll leave the link down underneath. And then uh, if you're watching this on my pour painting channel, I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share my videos. Thank you.